The annual Indian Ocean Conference is being held in Australia's Perth. Around 400 delegates from across the region have joined the event. Indian External Affairs Minister Dr. S.J. Shankar is addressing the inaugural session of the conference today. And our principal diplomatic correspondent, Siddharth Simbal, caught up with the Nepalese Foreign Minister, Narayan Prakash South, who is also attending the event. He spoke about the significance of cooperation in the Indian Ocean region, as well as the India-Nepal ties. Listen to this. With me is the Nepal Foreign Minister here in Australia. So welcome to Vyond. We are on the sidelines of uh, the Indian Ocean Conference. How do you see this conference as a participation of Nepal at the Foreign Minister level? You're present here. How do you see uh, the Nepal's presence strengthening the conference? Uh, thanks to uh, invite me and my country in this conference mm -hmm. uh, by India Foundation, Government of India and Government of Australia. Uh, Indian Ocean is uh, very important for us because uh, Nepal has uh, its most of the trade from mm -hmm. uh, Indian Ocean. Mm -hmm. So we want a stable, peaceful Indian Ocean. Mm -hmm. uh, we should uh, share um, uh, the Indian Ocean by all uh, with the countries mm -hmm. and uh, this conf conference will highlight the issue of Indian Ocean and I believe we will be success in uh, keeping uh, this Indian Ocean uh, uh, vibrant uh, and uh, uh, peaceful Indian Ocean. How can Nepal make sure that the Indian Ocean region can be much more prosperous, stable uh, for the entire region, for the countries of the region? We have a big potentiality of trade market in Indian Ocean. Mm. Uh, we have a, a different civilization connected by Indian Ocean. Ocean. So uh, I think we should uh, keep in touch to each other. We should have trade. We should have. We had exchange programs, people-to-people -people relation, mm. uh, and this is the geography where uh, the one-third of the world business is uh, uh, going on. Mm. Uh, so it's important for uh, Nepal and other countries mm. also. Mm. Uh, sir, my final question to you is, how do you see India-Nepal relationship? Recently, the Indian External Affairs Minister also travelled to your country, held conversations. So, uh, how will you characterise this uh, important civilizational relationship between the two countries? Uh, we have a uh, long uh, history of our relations. We have relation, uh, government to government relations, people to people relations, uh, by this bilateral commission b between Nepal and India. Uh, we have uh, uh, signed you know, so many uh, trade uh, arrangements and other things also. We have a very good relations. Mm -hmm. uh, and any high-level visit expected from Nepal to India in next few months or uh, weeks expected? And maybe any visit to Ram Temple as well? Uh, frequent uh, visits from uh, within India, Nepal uh, is very common. Uh -huh. uh, I'm also going to India uh, within a uh, span of one week after this conference. Okay. So we have uh, frequent visits there. Uh, any plan to visit the Ram Temple in Ayodhya? Uh, uh, still I have to uh, uh, arrange. The, uh, definitely most of the Nepalese wanted to go go uh, Ayodhya, Ram Ayodhya Temple, mm -hmm. uh, but we should have to... Uh, manage it. Uh, uh, uh -huh. uh, so you said you're coming to India in a week's time. What will the focus uh, during your India visit? Uh, uh, it's a uh, uh, Raisena Dialogue Forum mm -hmm. uh, where I'm going to take participation. Mm -hmm. uh, I will focus on bilateral relations, trade. Uh, there, there are so many things um, between Nepal and India. Mm -hmm. uh, we are a very close neighbors, so mm -hmm. Uh, we will. Uh, I will discuss all the matters mm -hmm. with the Indian side. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, matters like sir, uh, any any particular matter that is expected to be discussed? Uh, trade or other bi bilateral relations. Mm -hmm. All the things I can't tell you here. Uh. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.